Jam School Remix. You think you know probability? Well, you probably don't. All right, gentlemen, let's play a quick game. Between ace and king, what card do you think is the next ten? You lose. What about you? Pick Six. a card. You lose. What about you? Nine. You lose. Which do you think would be easier, to pick the right card or to pick the wrong card? The wrong one. The wrong of course, card. right? Of course. So if you can dodge the right number the entire deck through, and you don't even have to worry about suits, just the value, right? I will give each of you $10 a piece. If you can't make it, you have to buy me a drink. I'll give you three tries, so each of you get a chance to go through. Now, is that a bet you're taking? Sure. All right, well, we got our first challenger. We're gonna let each of you have one round. Before I turn over the card, what's your first guess? Five. Five. Nope. King. Nope. Eight. Doing good? Ten. Three. Oh, so close! Look at that, you made it three quarters of the way through the deck and you hit a winner. Did you have a strategy? Because I noticed for a while there, you were just saying whatever the last card you saw was. It was just more hope and luck. What number you want to go with first? Ace. Three. Ace. Six. Oh, wait, it right up the top. Yeah. All right, all right, quick, 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 quick. Mitch, Mitch. Oh. All right, all you got to do is be wrong all the way through the deck. What's it yeah, going to be? Let's go. Seven. Three. Five. Jack. King. Oh, wait a minute, right there. It's harder than you think. Now, as I understand probability, there are 13 possible values, and I picked one. When it comes to any of these scams with multiple trials, you don't want to calculate the value being right. You want to calculate the value of being wrong. One in 13 is the odds of being right. The odds of being wrong are 12 out of 13, because there are 12 ways to be wrong and one way that you have to be right. Now, this is assuming that you don't have any strategy, that you're just shouting random numbers. So the odds for any one trial, 0.92. Now that is correct for one trial. The odds are 92% that you will make it past the first one. But when you have multiple possibilities, you have to multiply 92 times 0.92% again. And so that's the first trial. One, it says two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 19, 20. 20 cards into it, we now only have a 21% chance of making it through. 9% chance to make it past 30. You have a 1.6% chance of making it all the way through. As long as somebody just was randomly picking numbers, they had virtually no chance to make it through, which was why I could offer such a sweet deal to you guys. But as we found out in our trials, Destin was hip to the scam and was trying to apply a strategy. What's your first guess? Three, three, queen, six, 10, two, nine, five, king, three, two, ace, four, jack, jack, six, jack, six, jack, <laughs> jack, you gonna jack, go jack all the way jack, through? You think jack. you got, there's no more jacks? Oh, what is the odds? Yeah! yeah! Holy sh The numbers I gave for the probability are based on the idea of using random numbers, but it's not entirely random when you're able to see the results. The one thing I did to try to minimize the results is you'll notice I didn't turn over like this. If you do this, they can see the history. So the way you counteract that, flip it over to show it briefly, you'll notice that your finger you just let it drop, it'll flip over. So you flip it over, and you just let it drop, and then that way they only get to see it for a second. Once you saw all four, you're able to run the deck all yeah, the way through, yeah. and it can happen. And this is just one of those weird nuggets where I don't know how it works and I don't need to know. All I know is that it makes no sense and it does the opposite of what I expect, and I would love it if you statisticians out there would set me straight down in the comments. Scam School Remix brings you the best of our over seven years and 400 plus episodes of Scam School. You can check out the original episode this came from or check out this week's episode in which I eat a can of Diet Coke. I mean, except for the can part. I just drink, I just drink a Diet Coke. That's all. It's not very impressive.